Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. And thanks guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel we're looking at the next figure in Wave 9 of Origins. And that is the 2000X version of Skeletor, the evil Lord of Destruction. And here he is. In the packaging. Of course with that Master Universe logo sticker, you know, from the 2000X line brand back in the day. With the Master Universe logo blasting out of the, you know, the red rocks that we all know and love. With the 40th anniversary sticker on the top left corner. And there he is. And we'll be comparing him to the Filmation style um, Skeletor. As long and, and as well as Keldor from that two pack. Because, uh, you know, that, that's when you know, we first got introduced to Keldor is in the 2000X line. We're looking at him. There's some similarities of you know those two figures. All right, and we flip it around to the back. And you, with some amazing, gorgeous artwork of him, you know, blasting. Looks like a, a rock wall with all his baddies with him. You know, Evil Lynn looks like Beast Man, Whiplash. Looks like Triclops, and I'm not too sure about the guy next to Triclops. He might be Webster. I don't know, but of course there's his call out action. You can place place his weapons in his hands. You can pose them if you wish, and of course all the figures in Wave Nine. And I have already done a review of He Man from 2000X. If you'd like to go back to look at that in my video in my channel, please do. All right, back around. Of course, with all new waves comes with, with a new comic book. And here it is. Once again, I'll do a quick, you know, recap. Very quickly, you know, amazing artwork as always. Great story to read. And I'm once again, I'm happy that Mattel has brought this back to us. You know. And of course, the cross sell of all the figures in the in Wave 9. All right. All right, and before we get to the review, guys, I want to say, you know, that, it, you know, I want to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake yesterday when I was telling you guys that we needed more 2000X figures and stuff like that, and one of them would be Evil Inn, and we did get an Evil Inn from 2000X. I think she was part of Wave 5, and there's also more figures in 2000X, the, the, the Snake Men, um, you know, figures that we, we've been getting are part of the 2000X uh, line. So there's been quite a few figures in 2000X, you know, that we've, we've been getting and stuff like that. I just hope we get more. Uh, we did get that King Randor and stuff, you know. So yeah, so there's been quite a few figures for the 2000X line, guys. And I just I just hope we get more, basically. But I want to apologize about about the Evil Inn thing as well. That, you know, I thought we need to get Evil Inn as well. And we do. And we do have Evil Inn. She was the first one, you know, in the line. Well, I guess it could have been Keldor. Anyways, but I just want to apologize for saying that, you know, we need to get Evil Land in 2000X, which when we already have her. So, but back to the review. Sorry about that. So, here, here he is. And I'm going to put him next to the Filmation style Skeletor. And we'll look at the end. And you, can write, you can see right off there's some, some differences, a lot of differences. Of course, the Filmation has a much lighter blue tone to him. His hood is a little bit more smaller. He doesn't have those uh, bracelets on his arms. And he's got full shoes. His belt, you know, his tassels are a little bit smaller. And his armor up there is a lighter purple. Where if we look at the 2000X version, of course, the, the hood is much more thicker and fuller. His, uh, I don't know what you call them, his shoulder pads have a, is black. He's got that jewel in the middle, that red jewel. His belt and his tassels are much longer. He's got the arm bracelet, bracelets on his uh, wrists. And he, he's got the uh, shin guards, but, you know, with no boots or shoes, so... And his skin tone is a much purple looking uh, color to him. 
Alright. But, you know, one thing about, I love about Origins is that you can make your own Skeletor. You can take parts from each of these guys, what you like and don't like. And you can transform him to whatever you wish, you know. By a quick swipe of you know, parts, body armor and stuff like that. You can make whatever you wish, you know. And I love about, that's what I love about Origins. But, get oh, Skeletor out of the way real fast. And I have the, a loose version of the 2000X version of Skeletor. There he is. Of course, he comes with that Havoc Staff, we all know. And his own version, it's not the Power Sword, his own uh, sword in the show. He did have his own sword, not the Power Sword. And the one thing I wish they would have done, because in the cartoon, you know, the, this sword right here, um, would, would be able to split apart into two blades and have two swords, or that he can combine them as well. And now here he is in back in, in the... Uh, 2002, this is what he looked like. And again, there's that source I was talking to you about. They can break apart, or you can combine them to the, you know, the main sword he has in Origins. That's what he, there he is. And we're taking time to thank Pixel Dan. And Dark Horse as well to about this amazing comic book. Thank you guys. But yeah, this is what he looked like in 2002. All right. And I'm going to compare him also to the Keldor figure, because the Keldor figure, you know, to me is is where we you know first see him in in, in the 2000X line. He was never shown in, in filmation. Of course, if you all know the story, you know, he gets ashes poured on his face, you know, Keldor, and he asks Hordak for help to keep him alive, and he does, and he transfers to this particular Skeletor. And one thing I, I gotta say real fast is that I wish the Keldor figure, you know, had the proper sword, you know, like this sword here. You know, instead of the full, like, common power sword that you know we all know and and uh and uh love but there you go of course there's some similar so you know he's got the red dot right here and he's got the dot as well but there you go get old Eldor out of the way real fast but there you go there's a good look at from front to back of 2000 x skeletor you can Move the head around, like, you know, you can twist the body if you wish. You can move the arms, you know, up and down. You can pop the arms off. You can pop, you know, the waist off. You know, you can twist the waist. You can bend at the legs. Um, you can move the head. You can remove the hands if you wish. So, yeah, I mean, it's all about customization, guys, and articulation and stuff like that, which I absolutely love, again, on Origins. But there he is. From this side to the back, other side. All right. And like I said, if you can see it more closely, like his his chest plate is a much darker, has black tassels and stuff like that, and his tone, his skin tone, is a much darker purple than the filmation style Skeletor. There you go. Alright, guys. I want to take the time out now, guys, to thank all my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys all with um, about Master Universe uh, from Origins to Masterverse to CGI. Please hit that like button, guys. It will mean a lot to me. And hit that notification bell when you know when I upload new videos. And tomorrow I'll be looking... We'll be looking at Mantena on Thursday. Share this video, guys, with anyone who loves collecting Master Universe uh, uh, figures from Origins to Masterverse and CGI. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Until Thursday, guys, take care.